I fire through a few more questions here. Um, do I feel like I'm going to get up there with the 10,000 maniacs who are also from this area? Um, you know, I, I highly doubt it, to be honest with you. They, are, they were a great band. They had so many uh, hit songs back in the late 80s and into the 90s. Um, you never know. You never know what can happen, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm at the point in my career where I'm not a spring chicken anymore, and it's not most labels these days or the ones that are going to take you to that level really aren't looking to sign, you know, people like me at this point, you know. They, they want the Taylor Swifts of the world that are, you know, 17 years old and got the world at the world is their oyster kind of thing, you know. So who knows, but, you know, at this point, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and hope for the best. Do I think being a musician is, all, is more about the music or, being the pay, or about the paycheck? It's about the music, for sure. Um, you, you know, I write the songs that I write. I'm not thinking to myself, boy, this song could be is going to be a big hit here or there. I'm writing what I feel like writing, and we have to get paid if you want to make a living at this. And I have total respect for the musicians that are out there pounding the pavement, doing nothing but their own material night after night, and a lot of times making very little money, as opposed to people like me who play a lot of shows where I'll play cover songs. I'm I'm fine with that. You get paid better playing the cover songs, cover shows, but. I need to also need to record my music, so I'd, I'd rather work full time and play other people's songs. That's fine by me. Uh, but a lot of people say, "Oh, you're selling out. You should just play your song only," and that's their opinion. That's okay too. But I'd rather not work all day long and a day job, and then just have you know. I'd rather play music. I love it. So that's my opinion on that. Um, do you ever want to have a band? Yes, it's so much more fun having a band to play with. It's so much harder to make any money, splitting it up five ways and paying a sound guy. Um, if you're trying to make a living. You can't do it as easily with a band, but man, it's more fun to play with a band. So ideally, I'd like to have a band for some shows and then make my rent at the other shows. Um, was Rio, is Rio de Janeiro the inspiration for Rio in Brazil? And yes, it was. Uh, Rio de Janeiro, I've been there eight times now. I absolutely love that. I love Brazil as a country, the people, the, the, the climate's beautiful. It's, it's, it inspires me. So I wrote that about Rio de Janeiro and hope to get back in February when it's summertime there. Um, what from this area inspired you to write about about it? What was that? It's your right, your handwriting, right? Oh, um, this area inspired you to write about it. Oh, from this area. Well, I wrote it about Brazil. Are you Jude? Is that your name? I don't know what's going on. Oh, no, I just, I just asked what inspired you to write about this area. Ex write about this area. Absolutely. Same reason as Brazil. I mean, I love this area, and this is where I spend a lot of my time. And I re referenced Duetville Bay in the last song, because I just spent time in my boat over there, soaking up the sun, you know, kicking back. So. Um, the fact that I'm from here, I write about things typically that I know. Some's pure fiction. I wrote a song called Your Wife is Cheating on Both of Us. That is just a ridiculous song that this old guy, codger in Florida, I was on his boat and he mentioned, you got to write a song called Your Wife is Cheating on Both of Us. I thought it was a hilarious phrase and I decided to make a song about it. So happily that's not a true story. <laughs> but some, most of the stuff is about song, stuff that I've experienced, you know. Uh, how many songs have I written? Probably I think 50 or 60. Is that the phone? Oh, okay. How much, how much money do I make annually? <laughs> I'm not telling you guys that. <laughs> not an, and, how, and compared to a larger star with, like Keith Urban, <laughs> about, let's see, about maybe one two thousandth of what he makes, I'm guessing. I don't have no idea, but um, I'm still just plugging away out here, but I'm making a living. So that, at that point, I'm happy with. But yeah, how much time do you spend in the recording studio to make one album? Very good question. Everyone's different. When we go to Nashville, we cut live. We put seven musicians in different sound booths, and we all play live, and they're, they're awesome, so they can do that. Sometimes I'm working with less talented musicians. We record one piece at a time. We'll put the drums down. OK, now I'll put the bass over top of that. And if he makes a mistake, we can punch, we call punch him in for, to correct it. Um, depends on the process. It's fun to record live because people can play off of one another. Say, hey, dude, what are you doing on the piano? Oh, let me double that in the guitar. And, um, but it takes anywhere from a month to three months give or take me leaving town to go make money and while the producer does technical stuff when I'm not around. And uh, I'll end with one. About out of time, so I'm just going to cut this song short. Thanks so much for hanging out, though, guys, and uh, giving me your attention. I appreciate it. You guys are really great. Appreciate it.
jet ski. 